morning my beautiful people it is the last day of february so i hope you are spending it doing something good by tuning in to DVS this morning the show that wakes you up in the know now today i have a lot a lot a lot of good stuff in store for you but you know the usual before i can tell you all about that we have to take a quick stop by the news desk for this morning's headlines thanks news team and don't go too far because we'll be right back <music> Thanks for staying tuned. So first up, we have Dean Lafosse, and he's going to tell us all about the amazing conference room at the Belgium Hotel. So let's see what he had to say. Good morning, my beautiful people. I am joined here with Mr. Dean Lafosse. Now, you're going to tell us a little bit more about the beautiful location that we are in. But before we start talking about all that good stuff, how are you doing this morning? Well, I'm wonderful this morning. Thank you. That's what we want to hear. We want to ensure that everybody is doing good in the morning. Now, it is time for you to tell us about this beautiful location that we are sitting in. Well, I'd like to welcome our viewers, our listeners to the Belgeau Hotel, located in La Pente Castries. Of course, uh, with all the lovely panoramic views of Castries and the Caribbean Sea. Welcome to the Belgeau. Now, I can definitely vouch for those beautiful views. Now, I want to know just a little bit more about Belgium for our friends and followers who have not heard of you, which I'm sure is not that much. Well, welcome again. Belgium, located in La Pensee Castries, uh, is a lovely boutique style hotel, quaint, relaxed. If you're looking for somewhere to get away from the hustle, the bustle, the noise, Belgium is definitely the place for you. Uh, no more than 76 rooms. Uh, we boast three restaurants, four bars, two swimming pools, a spa, and it's just a wonderful place just to kick back, relax, and you know, catch your sanity. I agree with that. Now you know, guys, catch your sanity. It is a beautiful location. Now we are also in a very beautiful location, and this is just one of the many beautiful places here at Belgium. So let's talk about this room. What exactly is it? Well, welcome to the Belgium's conference room. It's one of our concepts, one of our features at the hotel. We actually do cater for conferences. Um, I would say medium-sized conferences, that is, and small conferences with our boardroom. Uh, so, yes, you are right now in the beautiful, well-decorated conference facility. So tell us a little bit more about the packages that come with this conference room. What do you provide, etc.? Well, our conference gives you all your needs, uh, from high-tech uh, solutions. Of course, we're living in a time where we're doing a lot of virtual meetings and so on, so we have the technology for that. I'm glad we're seeing face-to-face -face, uh, interaction coming back, so we also do cater for that. Um, all your meeting needs, all your conference needs, we have that available. Our location is medium-sized, like I said. Uh, we can accommodate up to 80 people, theatre style, and of course, if we're doing other seatings, we can shrink to a comfortable 50, 60 persons. Oh, yes. Wow. So that is a good size room. You have everything you need and more. Now, tell me about the type of events that are held here. Well, Belgium do cater for outside of uh, conferences. We do weddings as well. Uh, we do executive board meetings uh, as well. And also we cater for different packages, lunch packages, dinner packages, um, day passes, <laughs> um, everything to, to attract our local market. Uh, especially. Okay, so guys, our locals, don't forget, Belgium is a, one of the many options, one of the best options. When I tell you, when you get here, it is like a fresh of a breath of fresh air. You see, I, I'm so confused right now. A breath of fresh air. You see, that's why I need to come here and get my sanity in check. You see, now. We are at this beautiful location, and I'm sure everybody is trying to figure out how do I get in contact, where do I go, what do I need. So just tell them how they can contact you and how they can rent out this beautiful space. All right. Uh, simply call the Belgium Hotel, 456-1800, and you will be put into, in touch with uh, 
our conference team that will be more than happy to look at your needs and cater to your needs as well. So 456-1800 is the contact. Now, for everyone who wants to keep up with Bell's U Hotel, just let them know how they can do so, all the social medias, emails, and whatnot. Absolutely. So uh, you could definitely check out our Instagram page, our Facebook page, uh, of course, Bell's U Hotel. And uh, for email, general email um, inquiries, you could also send your emails to frontdesk at bellevuehotel.com. Right, guys so quick and easy simple just like that so ensure you go and check them out honestly i want to say again it is a beautiful you know i keep saying beautiful because that's the only word that come into my mind when i came to this location so guys ensure you check them out so i want to say thank you so much for joining me here this morning it was an honor speaking with you and learning a little bit more about belgium and what they offer and guys i will see you in just a little bit you know since we're in 2023 i know there's a lot going to be happening so you want to be different you want to stand out so i have chad who does some pretty unusual bears as well as patrick and some very delicious wines so let's see what they had to say well Antilia bring company is all about making local bears on the island and today we are the expo we're exposing some of our bears that we have in cans and we have the passion fruit bear available here we also have the naked fisherman and the formidable these bears are all, all brewed locally on island. Well, we have other bears. If you, if you come see us at our tap room at Point Seraphine, we also have other bears on tap, like stouts, golden wheat, pale ales on tap. So we're still inviting people to come over at Point Seraphine to try these other bears that we have on tap, not just the one only in the cans. Those in the cans here, like the IPAs, they're very strong. They have 7.5% alcohol. The passion fruit is at 4.75. Well, when you say different, beer is a beer. Beer is beer. There are different types of beer would be like IPAs, very hoppy bears. That's the only different types of beer you'll find. Maybe like a hoppier beer than a, norm, a normal beer. Um, like our IPAs, they're very hoppy, very bitter, and that's where it gets the alcohol from, you know, the hoppiness. Our brewery has been existing for the past eight years. During that eight years, we find the locals, they love the, they, they found to the passion fruit more because it's a light beer. And since we are custom of of passion fruit. Now, the Naked Fisherman is a lemon zesty flavored IPA. It's, it's tradition in St. Lucia when we use, when we cut fish, or when we clean our fish, we use lime or lemon. So we were trying to incorporate beer, a lemon type of fruit beer with, with fish meals. Well, the expo has, man, it's, it's amazing because you see, you, we get exposure to especially all the locals, because a lot of locals do not know we exist. So I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that we are here today to um, expose our beer, our product. Well, our products are available in every supermarket. You could come at Point Seraphine, get it here as well. If you want to do retails, come and see us at Point Seraphine, whatever the choice may be. We are Point Surfing, come and see us. My name is Patrick Vellino. The name of my business is Wells Multi Services. The name speaks for itself. I'm into the production of local wines, Moby Back, our local brooms, and it goes on. These are the things I'm more into. I am into the production of the different local wines, like for instance, Latanier. Latanier is what we make our local broom with. But I use the seed from the product to make wine and people have testified that this is working good with the prostate problem. Um, first of all, I'll give you the story of the Latin year. The Latin year was issued by the Ministry of Agriculture for farmers. I went into it and then after a good eight years, I realized it was bad. The seeds were looking so attractive that I was wondering whether it's poisonous or edible. I saw the birds eat it, I tasted it. And then I went to the ministry to find out whether it's edible. They took a little time, but then they came back to me and tell me, yes, it's edible, but I had already tasted it. But when I feel the taste of it and they tell me it's edible, it gave me the zeal to go into it. I start making drink with it and go to indiv different individuals and to get feedback. The feedback was so encouraging that I start making the wine. When I made the wine, I went to the Bureau of Standards. They told me I'd have to do a nutrition analysis. I would have to send it to Trinidad to test. It's a bit costly, eh? but I did it from Trinidad. They said they wanted a second opinion. I took it to Canada myself, get it certified. And right now this is it. And I have the different wines, 
also you have Moby, I have the Moby back, I have the broom small. It's just name the product and you'll get wine out of it. Believe me, the feedback I'm giving making me feel that I just start the business. I will have to expand because to fulfill the demands, it calls for expansion. Oh, today has been very good. Yesterday was good. A lot of people come in today because some of them tasted or sampled yesterday and now they are coming to purchase. But if they want the product, like I told them, you can get it at Dealey's supermarket, you can get it at the market in Bond. There's a new place that recently opened. You have all my products over there. We have the high grade, which most of our young people want to sample. Um, you could call me on 284-1877. I am in rich form, Abuya. It's very easy to get. What's up you guys? It's your favorite neighborhood, Builster Man, with brand new exercises here for you today. In fact, explosive. I know I've been missing in action. I've been <coughs> down and just, I need to rest. You see, I get sexy and slimmer, you know. I'm not fat again, so my daughter cannot call me fat. But today we're going to give you an explosive movement. So for your morning when you wake up, you know, after first thing you do, you pray. Then you try to defecate and then we get it popping. Here with me today, we have Mr. Brad. This gentleman has some of the best food in the city of Castries. Booth number five, right? Yes, on so Street. let them know what you have quickly. Yes, I have all type of fast food you think of. Quesadillas, burgers, loaded fries, chicken and fries, pork and fries. Just stop, stop. That man has no respect for me. That man come <laughs> in my gym and that man calling pork and fries, chicken and fries, turkey and fries. So you know what happened there? We have to mess him up on that workout. With no further ado, let's get it popping, Salusha. Good morning. All right, our first exercise this morning, we're going to give you a simple incline push-up. So make sure you have a step by your home or a bucket or something that's elevated you can use. All right, let's go. 10 to 12 push-ups. Let's get down and dirty. Take your time. Slightly look ahead of you. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine and ten. Good job. All right. Remember, six means explosive exercise. So six seconds rest in three, two, one. Let's get it again. One, two. Now for you at home, if you cannot do it like this, drop your knees and press forward. Four, five, six, seven, but eight, nine, and ten. There's always ways to make your workout easy. But at the end of the day, we're not giving up. All right? So we're doing three sets. Four to five exercises, six minutes, three sets. You ready? Last one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all right. Nine, ten. That's good. You know what happened there? Watch that. You see it? A piece of pork. <laughs> we are playing that, you know. And that's what happens at Bullshit Lifestyle. We make you regurgitate. <laughs> All right, good job. Next exercise, we're going to do some dips. So here the front, we're going to stretch out. We're going to hit the back. We're going to go sets of eight this time. You ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, slightly back, put your on your heels. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. Make sure when you dip in, whatever you hold in, make sure your back stays as close to it as possible. You go on your heels, slight bend in your knees, and we're pressing down. We're using the body up and down. Ensure that your knees are bent. Ready for the next one? Let's go, Brad. You're going to learn today. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Excellent. Good job. Get a quick stretch. Feel in the pump so when you go in the office or when you go back in the room and the wife see you, you know you just might not go to work, she might just kidnap you. When you go to work, you're causing problems. That's what we're going to do. We're pumping up the body. Last set. Let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. See you ready? That's two exercises at home which can be done. Simple exercises, no stress. The third exercise, <clears throat> we're gonna give some pulse squats. Eight pulse squats. So you're gonna go down, pulse one, two, come back up, you're not fully extending. Always maintain a slight bend in your knee. Ready? Let's go. One, pulse, one, two, two. Three, stop there. Stop there, four, let's go. That's it, five. Excellent. Seven and eight. Good job. Maintaining the tension. Keeping the pump. We're going again in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go, monkey. I see you. Seven, eight, excellent. That's two. We have one more set, we're getting it done. We're getting fit and ripped, even whilst we are still trying. Let's go. That's set, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven and eight. Excellent. Are you feeling bad? You will learn <laughs> to sell the food, do not eat it. <laughs> You're going to learn today. All right. Now we're going to do some step ups. We just went down, now we're going to go up. We're going to just step up. And we're going to switch legs. All right? Let's get it popping. Let's go, San Lucia. One. Up. Two. Three, four, two more, five, and six. Excellent. Nice stretch. When you do that exercise, strengthening your leg, building your core at the same time, making you feel good about yourself. All right? We're gonna do one more set. Let's go. One. Two. Nice. Three. Four. Five. And six, all right? And then, after that, 20 jumping jacks, and we're all done. Get it popping, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, let's go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Yo. Yeah, boy, that's it when it was wicked, boy. Yeah, man, that is top exercise, but the piece of pork you drop on the floor there, that's what happens when you're eating. What are you saying? You mustn't defecate where you sleep. Uh. But then again, upon saying that, tell San Lucia your busy times where you can get your pork, your chicken, your turkey, your crab. Tell them. <laughs> yeah, you'll get that in Jeremy Street Plaza. We open at 10, 10 in the morning to 9 in the night. Yes, book number five. All right, so you heard that. Do not overdo it, especially if you come to see me, because you know at the end of the day, we're getting fit and ripped even whilst trying. Good morning.
All right, everybody, that wraps up today's show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, you know, you feel happy that I gave you some good contacts, you know. I hope you enjoyed today's the last day of February. Remember that, guys. So ensure you do what you have to do. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow bright and early. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,